Well, 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 everyone. Look at that. Isn't the whole world on fire right now? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, this episode, as you can see behind me, uh, we got some uh, police lights because uh, someone in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> someone in big trouble. You know, what was yeah. that mean? Stop in the name of the law. All right. So, <laughs> anyway, in today's video, we're going to cut right to it. I have uh, one of the head moderators uh, for the official enlisted Discord and uh, his name is Escalate, and he's just going to kind of go over this drama, <laughs> you know, that's been going on in the community recently. And I'm just going to shut the F up and let him speak, uh, please. Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Escalate, <clears throat> one of the head moderators on the uh, official list of Discorded, uh, or X moderators, I should say now. Um, just want to kind of get this video out there and, and inform people about what's going on and uh, make sure there's no disinformation and stuff like that in this uh, video. Uh, so to start off with, um, everyone knows the basics. There was a huge ban that happened in the Discord. Um, there was a lot of uh, disinformation being spewed around about what happened and what caused it. So I'm here to put that all to rest. Um, as far as the build up to what, what happened and why this happened, um, myself and the mod team have been trying to communicate with the devs for months. As far as enlisted goes, trying to get some bug fixes out, trying to get some communication opened up, trying to open some doors and and let the water flow. But they refuse to. They won't talk to us. Um, anytime we try to, to communicate with the admins on the Discord, we would just get left with uh, runaround answers, you know, just trying to keep us in the dark, basically. Um, <clears throat> so for a few months, that was fine. We did our work. We we communicated with the, the, the developers and the admins as much as we could. Um, and it kind of reached, it reached a bubbling point the other day. Uh, we all just got sick and tired of the, the same answers and, you know, uh, just deal with it and, and this and that. So, uh, and, and we're paid <clears throat> technically in game with in-game currency. So we're not uh, doing this voluntarily as people have suggested before that we were getting, uh, compensated for the, the work that we do as for, for their company. Um, but anyway, so. It went to a head yesterday, and um, I decided that symbolically I would ban four Gaijin employees from the Discord, and then I would walk away with my head high and just step away from the game itself because I don't believe that Enlisted is going to make it as a, as a game with how they're handling it. And um, a lot of people also believe this as well. But So I did my, my work, banned the people that I banned, <clears throat> which is about four or five people, and then I walked away. Uh, I got banned. So... Um, and this is where things get interesting. One of the other moderators saw what happened uh, and banned the person who banned me and then banned all the other moderators and then banned all of the remaining Gaijin employees that were in that Discord, uh, except for the admins. And then they banned, uh, <clears throat> I want to say, several hundred people from the Discord, probably, give or take. Um, they purged all the channels with a lot of the messages. They cleaned out all the mod logs, all of the uh, the mod discussion channels, basically all, all the important information in the server got wiped um, by that moderator who was uh, Corsa Coffee, by the way. Um, and uh, he ended up either getting banned or removed from the server. I'm not sure what happened at, the, at that point. But uh, the server got hit really, really hard. Um, and I, I was not a part of that, just, just for clearance. I was only going to do the, the few people that I did, and I walked away, basically. Uh, this is after that. So um, <clears throat> where other moderators get involved is either they agreed with the situation that was going on um, and they also got removed or they left of their own volition. So uh, Liquid was removed from the moderator team because of the association with what happened and communicating uh, screenshots from internal chats to us. Uh, Corsa Coffee was obviously the main offender of the situation from banning everybody uh, and, and purging the Discord. So he got removed as well. Um, <clears throat> Some of the other moderators, like uh, Zipping, who hasn't been seen in a while, got removed as well, um, just for pure inactivity and stuff like that. Uh, the rest of the moderators, like Mr. Party and DJ, are going to remain on the team because they were not directly involved in the situation. Um, that being said, so th the whole situation that happened was uh, really unfortunate. You know, I, I didn't intend for anything to go this far. It was just a more of a symbolic middle finger to the developers and the admins for not listening, for not taking our advice, uh, and taking very simple precautionary steps to help fix their game from dying. Um, so come today, 
<clears throat> in the aftermath of what happened there, they're getting the server back up. They're unbanning all the individuals except for the moderators who were involved directly. Um, so four moderators remain banned from the server, myself included. Uh, and here's where things get interesting. Uh, I received another internal screenshot confirming that they were going to be potentially banning our in-game accounts as well as our Discord accounts for the situation that happened. Um, I was a little skeptical at first because, you know, sometimes people like to throw their weight around and say, oh, well, we're going to ban you for this and that. And then, you know, it's just a threat to scare people off. Um, well, I logged into the game and funny enough, my game account is banned. I cannot access the game. Um, of course, the coffee's game account is also banned and liquid <clears throat> hasn't gotten back to me yet as far as if he's banned or not as well. But basically all the moderators that were involved, as far as I know, got their game accounts banned. Wow. Um, yeah. So I'm still reeling from that debating on what I should do here because, you know, the, the game itself if I had done something in the game to harm the game or to, to, you know, break some kind of rule, that's fine. But this is in the discord, right? This is totally unrelated to the game itself. There's no reason that I should be, in my opinion, banned from the game. Um, but the other moderators, especially some of the ones who had nothing to do with the situation, getting their accounts, you know, banned is, it's a little, you know, assuming that they're banned like I am, it's a, it's a little overwhelming, you know? I can imagine it is. My goodness. I'm still uh, just going through these screenshots and I'm just highlighting everything that was said. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so as, as far as where I want to go from this this point of uh, in this point in time is uh, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm considering legal options, <clears throat> but um, I'm sure they have some kind of rule on their EULA where they can just ban you for any reason they want to. So um Still debating on how I should handle that, you know. <laughs> I I don't know. Does anybody read those damn things? <laughs> no, no, I, I don't anymore. <laughs> it's um, just but legal yeah, red tape. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. So, um, you know, as as far as the situation that happened and uh, why it came to this point, you know, when when people watch a video and they hear, oh, well, this happened for several months, you know, it doesn't really sink in, you know, because they don't. They they weren't there for those several months. They don't really understand what happened and, you know, what the developers were doing, what the admins were doing behind the scenes, which is some really, really scummy stuff, by the way. You know, uh, stuff like saying that they do not read any feedback that is given, which is proven, by the way. Um, yes. They just go based on statistics, which is a very, very scummy thing to do. I mean, it, they're honest about it. I'll, I'll give them that. But, you know, it's <laughs> cutting back all feedback completely. Um, not the best idea, in my opinion. So, especially um, not telling people that you don't listen to them. That's really dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's uh, so. But like I said, at least they're honest about it. So there's that. Um, but you know, I I, I did my job in the Discord for several months. Uh, basically, at the very beginning of when the game went into open beta is when I joined the moderation team. So that was uh, quite a few months ago. I'd say five or six months that I worked for this uh, this uh, development team, basically. Um. And I don't really want to bash the team itself because they're just in control of the Discord. It's not the actual uh, people running the show, to my understanding. Now, the developers and the administrators in the Discord do work at the same office, though. So it's not as though I'm talking to people who can't do what I'm asking. These are people that go into the office every single day. They communicate with each other. They walk by each other. They're part of the same team. You know, uh, for instance, when <laughs> artillery was, was yeah. super broken, right? Remember that? When it was busted and it was, you know, being spammed across the map. There's nine red circles in game. and Oh, yeah. Literally nowhere safe to hide anywhere. Nowhere safe yeah, to that hide. was fun. Yeah, exactly. Almost made me quit um, the game again. Yeah. Uh, pretty much all my friends quit the game because of that uh, and because of how long it took them to fix that issue. So for mm -hmm. two months, artillery was an issue, right? For a month, it was an issue because of how they broke the artillery. They They buffed the HE and then it broke the game. It broke how strong artillery was, and it, it 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 broke the game. People were leaving because of that. So uh, when we're communicating with the developers, and I was one of the first people to notice what happened and what went wrong with the, with the game, and I communicated clearly, hey, the HE rework that you guys did also broke artillery. Can you do a patch reversion? Can you revert this patch and work on some kind of solution so that this isn't a problem? Because this is going to cause people to leave your game, and it did. A lot of people left because of that and how long it took them to fix. Um, so when you when you have things like this, where you know the solution, you you provide them the solution, you say, hey, this needs to happen. Otherwise, your game is going to fail. 
and they just don't listen to you or they turn a blind eye to your conversation, that gets upsetting. Especially when you're interacting with these people day in and day out for a month on end. And you play the game, or at least I play the game, pretty much every day. I ended up maxing out every single campaign. I love the game. I put a lot of money and time into it. Same, and then I get yeah. stabbed in the back. I get stabbed in the back. So <clears throat> understandably, I'm I'm pretty upset with the situation and what happened. And um, now, do I believe that I deserve to get in trouble for what I did to the Discord? Absolutely. Um, but to the extent of banning my in-game account... Which no, you spent a lot, lot I... of money on. I, I Sorry exactly. to interject, but... <clears throat> yep. Just saying, uh, that's some pretty dirty shit. Uh, mm, you know... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we, we talked about my anger issues. I really have to take a deep breath before I speak, but my goodness, it's hard to keep a lid on it. I'm watching, I'm mm -hmm. currently watching those videos, you know, just letting them kind of play in the background, and holy shit, dude. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add in any of this? Like, I don't even know what to say other than uh, abandoning your game account for for something mm -hmm. that, that happened on a, a social media website. Uh, that can't be legal. <laughs> like, there's no way that's legal. I can't imagine well, like any said, country would allow that. It's it's probably in their EULA somewhere where they can technically do this for any reason they want to. So. Uh, I hope not. I hope that, uh, you know, there's some kind of legal standing that I have here where I can, you know, contact my lawyer and say, hey, this is what happened. Where do we go from here? And then, you know, maybe I can get my account back or I can at least get my money back. I, I'm not too upset about losing the account because as it currently stands, I don't think Enlisted is going to survive as a game. How they're running the, the ship behind the scene, if you see in some of the screenshots you've been scrolling through here, mm -hmm. um, some of the comments that they're making about the community, some of the stuff that they say. I don't think that this company is going to be able to maintain this game long term. And especially with Battlefield 6 coming out and a lot of the, the core gameplay mechanics being somewhat similar to Battlefield 6 coming out, I don't think this game is going to survive personally. This is just my opinion. Um, I would, if I may interject, but, I would agree with you. And, but not because this is a bad game, like like you were saying. I Similarly, I enjoy the hell out of it. But man, is it frustrating when... They change something and, and, you know, screw it up royally. Like, oh, just, I don't even want to get into the examples of, like, aircraft damage models. <laughs> right. And stuff like that. That that can be for another video. But mm -hmm. it, it's frustrating to watch a captain of a ship like just punching holes in the side going, hey, guys, I'm helping. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I hate I to laugh way. about it, but son of a bitch, somebody needs to take that. <laughs> somebody needs to keelhaul that gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I've tried to do over the past couple months is, and I know my position is very limited, you know, and, and stuff like that. But when I play the game every single day and I see problems that I know are easily fixed, um, then I get upset because they've already stated they don't test the game. Uh, they just put out the updates and basically let the players test it, which is really, really, you know, kind of I'm mixed about it personally. But um, I've offered to, to sign an NDA in the past and to to join their team and to test the game. Because I love this game. I don't want to see it fail. I don't want to sit here and be negative and, and say that I want to see this game fail. I absolutely want this game to succeed and thrive. But how yes. they're running it currently, it is a sinking ship. And there is no fixing it if they don't open their eyes. So my goal for doing what I did to the server was to open their eyes, get them to see what's going on, maybe communicate a little bit more with the new men or maybe even the old ones that stick around who were not part of the situation. Um, and I, I left some messages in the moderator chat, letting them know, you know, what's going on and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so as far as, go ahead. So you basically got a debt pack in your hand and shoved yourself up the jumbo's butt, did you? I like yeah. that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's funny. But uh, continue, please. Um, no, but yes, yeah, so I, I didn't plan on, you know, half the server or, you know, a, a large amount of the server getting removed. I didn't plan on that. Um, that was not my intention. My intention was to remove some Gaijin employees. And then just get out of Dodge. I was just going to leave and leave it at that. Um, someone just to else decided to yeah. just just to make a statement. Exactly. Now, do I think it was the right thing to do? Probably not. But when I've tried for months to communicate with these guys and I get nothing but you know, no response or you know, sorry, ask again later, stuff like that, then it adds up and I get upset. Um, and I can only do so much as an individual myself. So this is why the the moderation team decided to help me with this with this uh you know situation that was going on so was a coup. Um, 
Yeah, essentially, uh, basically <laughs> over half their moderator team just up and left or either nuked the server or, you know, whatever. So, um, like I said, when you have half your moderator team going up in arms and doing something like this to your server, uh, you have to realize you, you had to have screwed up somewhere. You know, it, it, hopefully, at least I realize that they've screwed up and that they need to communicate more. Um, I understand that the developers are not admins and vice versa. It's just the Discord, right? <clears throat> but I've also yeah. put these ideas. I, I've put these ideas out on the forums, on the Reddit, and again, it gets nowhere. Um, they don't take any feedback at all. So this is where I currently stand with the game and and what you know what's going on with it. And hopefully, in the future, they will take some of the advice that I that I gave them and and use it to fix their game. Because if they don't, it is going to fail, in my opinion. I would agree with you on that uh, that assessment, rather. <laughs> and it's frustrating, too. It, and But, I mean, I think we've gone on well on long enough about it. I would like to, uh, anybody who's watched this, who's, uh, you know, looked at the screenshots, read along, pause the video, please. Take a look at some of this this horse that's going on in the in you know in the you know the back, back i can't even stay calm i'm sorry brother mm -hmm. that's fine <laughs> it makes me angry because i like i said it's like the captain poking holes in his own ship like they're doing it to themselves mm -hmm. yeah. anybody who's watching please share this video so more people can see it because the developers probably won't understand unless enough unless enough people have seen this and talk right. about it and raise our pitchforks as one and go no we're not buying any more of your fucking premium time if you don't fix this fucking game i'm yeah, letting mine absolutely. lapse i don't know but yeah oh yeah you were banned excuse me yeah you were <laughs> fucking banned uh yes. yeah I'm, I'm letting my premium lapse and i'm not i might i don't know i might even stop making content on this game if they don't turn this shit around soon i mean mm -hmm. honestly and i don't think anybody would blame me no, absolutely. Um, right. And a lot, like I said, a lot of my friends said that they're quitting the game. They're walking away because they yes. they don't, you know, they they don't they don't see the updates being put out. They don't see the content being dropped. And and that's another thing too. Before we end this video, is there is mountains, and I mean literal mountains of finished content that they have ready to put into the game, and they're not putting it in. And you can't argue for balance sake because they already don't test their stuff. They just let it out and they balance it based on that feedback, quote unquote, which we haven't seen yet, by the way. Yeah, uh, Berlin was balanced. Yeah, exactly. Berlin was completely balanced. Um, <clears throat> yeah, pay us uh, 50 bucks to get into it and test it for yourself, you know? <laughs> Come on, dude, really? Um, but, but yeah, there's mountains of content that they have stacked up, ready to come out for Normandy, for Moscow, and for Berlin. The STG, uh, the Bazooka, the Drum Mag, Tommy, just to name a few. Uh, the Fedorov, there, there, there's lots of weapons they have stacked up as well. As far as vehicles go, they have all of the vehicles that I'm aware of uh, from early game World War II to mid game World War II War Thunder and up ready to be put into the game at this very moment. And they do not do that. Um, so I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to drip feed us content, but we can't go four or five months with this content drip. Like you can't do that. I understand not everyone's going to max out the game. But for the people that do put time into this game and they max out a campaign and they're like, you know, what do I do now? You know, my campaign's finished. I don't really want to spend hundreds of hours going to a separate campaign and playing that. Why can't we get some more content in? Well, well the content is there. It is ready to be added. They just won't do it. So <clears throat> that's where I stand on that. And uh, content aside, uh, <laughs> I think, I, I mean, you might disagree with me, but I think even more importantly, they need to have like a health update like Rainbow Six did. Yes. Remember how much better that game became after they went, okay, guys, we f this up royally. Mm -hmm. We're going to not release a little content. We're just going to make the game better. And they did that. And then the community exploded, did it not? That game went from everybody talking about it to mm -hmm. i mean it's it's pretty high up there on twitch i'm looking at it right now you know what i yeah. mean and if if no, they this... sorry go ahead i was gonna say this game needs a health update uh pretty badly yes. putting aside the the content that needs to come into this game as far as balancing goes they need to rework this game at its fundamental core very very badly um not even going to list some examples uh, on the new campaign, Berlin. We'll go back to the other ones, which people are more familiar with. As far mm -hmm. as Normandy goes, bombers are ridiculous. Uh, and I'm talking about the planes, by the way. 
where they can just go and they can wipe out the entire map with almost no repercussions whatsoever. Um, oh, yeah. And, yep. and there's even some people that have multiple bombers in their lineup. They'll get in one plane and kamikaze bomb and just wipe an entire point, hop on the next plane, rinse and repeat. That is a problem. And that needs to be fixed. And this has been an issue for, I want to say, almost over a year and a half, give or take, um, from when they first started doing their premium tests. And, and just as a disclaimer, this game has been in development for almost over four years. It started in, uh, I want to say, 2017, give or take, somewhere around there. Um, and it has been been in production for a long time. The main thing is, though, the assets for the game were pulled from Cursed, or I guess you'd call it Cuisine Royale, which is a game Darkfall developed before uh, this this was a game enlisted. So they have the assets for the vehicles from War Thunder, and they have the gunplay and the maps and a lot of the other stuff from Cursed or Cuisine Royale. So they have sat on this content for years, and they finally put the game out, which is fine. I really enjoy this game, and I love it. But if they don't do some health updates or put some content out, one or the other, this game will fail within the next six months. I highly believe that. And uh, I'm noticing myself that when I get into a game, I'm playing with the same people over and over again all day long. I don't see hardly any new players in matches anymore. I Queue times take forever. I'm, I'm sitting in queue for oh, several yeah. minutes now. So, you know, a lot of really bad things are happening to Enlisted right now. And I've pointed this out. And they know these problems exist. They just refuse to act upon it. So take that with what you will. Yeah, I mean, we can go on and on about <laughs> this shit, but yeah. I I think uh, I think we I think you got your point across, and unless you have something mm -hmm. else to add, um, um, I, I just like to add that if the moderation team <clears throat> that comes after me, uh, or even the admins or the developers happen to see this video, uh, essentially all that I want to say is for the moderators, you know. <clears throat> Don't push your luck. These guys, they don't really care about your, you know, position. They don't care about what you what you say, uh, or, or what opinions you have. Just do your job and and don't push any any luck with that because you're you're just gonna end up upset like me. So temper your expectations. As far as the admins, um, I sincerely hope that you guys fix the Discord. I've offered many times to to help fix the Discord and and get it in a much nicer to the eyes uh, shape than what it is currently. Uh, and to help organize it more properly. And it's been denied multiple times. So I hope you guys get that in order. Uh, as for Valerie, one of the, the head admins, um, I really, really hope that uh, you start taking some more feedback from your moderation team in the future because you can't have half your moderation team quitting in one night uh, and walk away with that thinking that everything's fine. As for the developers, I sincerely hope that you guys fix this game because I love it. Even though I can't play it anymore, <laughs> I do love the game, uh, and I do want it to be successful regardless of if I can or cannot play it in the future. So that's about all I have to say. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I'm. I don't know about you, but I'm wound up from just talking about it. So yep. with that in mind, everyone, again, there's a lot to process here. There's a lot of information, a lot to think about, a lot to discuss. So let's let's talk about it and get something done. Because if this Absolutely. game dies, then everybody loses, including you developers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, yeah. dummies. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean any disrespect by that. Well, kind of. Whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm signing off. Peace.